What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive vlogs coming at you. I hope you are all having a great one out there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, and uh, you know, you drive in this gig economy, this is the channel for you to stay up to date in the gig economy. So get started right now, it's free. Hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell to the right and you will be good to go, my friends. That's right. And of course, let's see if we can get 150 likes. Be sure to hit that like button by the time you're done with the video. You can get it out of the way right now or do it at the end, whatever you want to do. Let's jump into this. So this actually, uh, the topic of this video actually came from a comment that I received not too long ago and it comes from Saga1. So everyone say thank you to Saga1. The saga continues, that's right. So I found this really interesting for you DoorDash drivers out there, AKA Dashers, of course. So I kind of summarized or paraphrased basically what he was saying, but Saga One said this. Lately, when he's been driving and he gets a lot of trash orders, you know, those lovely $3 payouts or $4 payouts or sometimes $2 something in change payouts, okay? What he said is that, um, if he rejects three trash orders in a row, okay, like one right after the other, okay, um, sometimes he'll get put on a pause for like at least an hour. And we all know how annoying that is. In the chat or in the comments section, let me know how many orders it usually takes you to reject consecutively in a row. And then they put you on like an hour pause. Because remember, like I've said, they cannot deactivate you for low acceptance rate, but what they can do is prevent you from receiving offers if you're rejecting too many. That's the loophole in the system that they came out with, I think well over a year ago, especially during the pandemic. So he tried a new strategy and it seems to be working for him, okay? So now what he does is if the same thing happens again, where um, th uh, he, he sent a $3 order, rejects it sends gets a four dollar order or another three dollar order rejects it but then he said if a third order comes in okay no matter what it is as long as he said as long as it's not too far out of his region or it's like or his zone or whatever and, it, and he's like still pretty local he takes the, he takes the third one no matter what it is now i know some people are gonna be like pete that's ridiculous i don't want to go uh, to a fast food place or whatever but listen he said the third one that comes in he will accept that one, okay? Pick it up, drop it off, and then boom, they just keep sending him more and more good offers. And he said it's been keeping him busy for the following past couple of days. So I find this really interesting here that it seems like he discovered something that works in his particular market. Now, however, what have I always said? That every market is different. Come on, everybody, say it with me in the comments down below or in the chat or the chat down here. Every market is different, okay? This has been the reoccurring trend ever since the early days of the gig economy doing these apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, etc. okay? So I find this really interesting. And now I have some homework for all of you guys to do, but this is basically what you guys do anyway. Go out there from whatever point it is that you're watching this video, okay? Either later on today or tomorrow in the next couple of days, report back to me and let me know if this strategy works for you and your market. Now again, like I said, every market is different. So they may test certain things out in certain markets that's different from the others. This has been proven in the past, okay? But it seems that it's like the three strikes and you're out rule you're out, meaning that for an entire hour, you're not receiving anything, okay? So, with that being said, um, try this out. If you reject the first order, you take the, uh, you know, you, re you the first one comes in, you reject it. The next one comes in, you reject it. The third one comes in, try rejecting it and see if they send you a fourth right after that. Again, this may or may not work but I'm totally willing to try out this strategy because if you can kind of work the system to your advantage, why the hell not? Remember guys, it's your time, it's your money. DoorDash does not care about your time and your money. All they care about is if orders are being picked up and being dropped off in a timely fashion. 
So these are just some things to keep in mind. Uh, I'm just curious if this works for you. So yes, leave some comments over here or send me an email at paid to drive stories at gmail.com if you ever wanna share anything, like a story or whatever. But I'll tell you right now, this is very, very, very interesting, guys. I'm really curious to see if this can work for you because at least this way, then you know in your head, like, oh, if I get put on a pause, now I know how to backpedal a little bit and work the system to my advantage. So remember, First order, you reject it. If you don't like it, of course, obviously. The second order, reject it if you don't like it. Third one comes in. If you're willing to see if the pause happens and then maybe go multi-app onto Grubhub or Uber Eats or Bite Squad or something else, um, give it a shot. Give it a shot. See if it works. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth that one hour to see if this is an issue. But if you never have to worry about this, then scrap the whole thing. But again, I'm always trying to give you guys ways to keep making more money to just stay more alert about what's going on. So let me know down below. And of course, at this time, you guys know what I'm going to say. I got to thank all of our patrons who give a little something every month to the channel. And my way of saying thank you is I shout you out in all new videos and uh, all that good stuff. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. Link is in the description or in the pin top comment if you would like to sign up. And of course, we've got Brian Pomeroy, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, <clears throat> Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Brian Richardson, Jenny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacy Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, v -v -v Valerie Brown. V -v -v Valerie Brown. I don't know why I do that, but it just sounds kind of catchy. So anyway. Also, all right, links in the description in the pin top pin top comment. But what's also in the description is the link for the free Get Upside Gas app. And if you haven't heard me mention it, it's a free app for your smartphone. Download it down below right now. All right. All you do is go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description. Please make sure to download it today. All right. And of course, everybody, if you want to get an official paid to drive t-shirt, which I'm not wearing today, got to change it up, you know, but go check out paidtodrivestore.com for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. Everything's on sale. Paidtodrivestore.com. Links down below. Make sure to go check that out. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment saying end 756. Huh? Archie Bunker, remember him? So N756, hit that red subscribe button down below, turn on all notifications, and of course, be sure to hit that like button. Let's get 150 likes, and until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Be well, be nice to each other, drive safe, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.